I'm Mike Cyrus with Christopher Michael Images. We're gonna do a natural light shoot here at a beach. But we're about, you know, tail end of the day, maybe an hour before golden hour. So the light's a little softer. We wanna get this, you know, kind of a, a smoother look instead of that harsh lighting. So we have it real good. So I've got the sun to my right and our, our model's over here. We've got the sun kind of her side to the back. So she has a little, you know, the lighting's gonna contour her on the side. And then we're gonna take a shot here. So what I've got here, I'm at one, 1 25th of a second. I'm at f2.2 to give a good bokeh back there and at 100 ISO. We want that good, clean, crisp shot. So I have an 85, that's a 1.8 lens uh, on a Canon 5D Mark IV. So set for her eyeballs, lock in, boom, pop the shot, take a peek. Yeah, that was great routing camera. So with the natural light, I want to have the light hit her in the face. So on this here, as you can see, I've got the light, as she's turned to her left, the light's hitting her on the face, real kind of filling her in and giving the, the good shadowing. On her right side, it gives a nice dark tone, so the left and right side has good contrast. And that's what I'm looking for when I do this. If you would, keep your chin about mid-distance, and then just like that, right there. Three, two, one, there you go. Play with the camera a little bit, kind of have fun with it, yeah. And take your chin to your left side a little bit. Right there. Ah, there you go, good job. Kind of open your mouth, have fun with it. Yeah, there you go, play. There you go, good job. All right, throw me the camera. Yeah, yeah, this is a cheap play camera. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm just gonna have my model. I want her to get real excited here, play, do a lot of twists and turns. With natural light, you know, you don't have to worry about moving the lights around or getting any of that. She can just be free and flow and just do whatever she wants. So with this here, the lighting is gonna stay the same, so I'm not changing any of my settings. And where, uh, I, I'm, I just go low, and I'm gonna shoot up, that gives me a good background, it gives me the water really well here. So these beach shoots are really good. Three, two, one, pull your left shoulder to me. Right there, boom, there you go, good job. And just twist and turn and play, there you go. Good job, I love that. All right, so going here, here's a little tip. Shooting on this little beach here, we're in Kentucky, it's, it's, it's just like a lake here, we're on a lake at a beach. The sand has a good reflection. So with the light reflecting off into her, I'm using every little advantage I can. The light off the water, the light off the, the sand here is shining up on her. With that, I can raise my shutter speed up a little bit to give it more of a bold look. My background back there, has a, there's a little haze up here, you can kind of see it. There's a haze uh, you know, all over the background. So with me darkening it up, it kind of brings those colors back. You know, when you're shooting natural light, you tend to lose some of your backgrounds, you tend to lose some of your surroundings because it gets washed out. With the, with the good sand or good water, it will reflect up, allowing me to run my shutter speed faster, which overall will darken the image. And when I darken that image, again, it'll make the colors come back in, it'll make things more bold and more crisp. So any advantage I can, I will. So there's one more step we can do. So one of the cool tricks that we got here is since we're using natural light, if you have a friend, you have somebody can go with you. Um, I have Todd, Todd's my buddy here. Todd's holding the, our big reflector here. So as a reflector, go ahead Todd, move it to your left there and watch the difference on her. It makes this, just kind of swing the, the, the thing back and forth. Just pop it in there. Look how much light that filled in. That is very dramatic. It's, it's I mean, it, it gives at least two stops of light just adding a reflector. But, things with reflectors. People do the reflectors very wrong. Do you see how he's got it facing downward? That is the correct way. If you have a light shine up underneath you, that's scary light. That's what they do in horror movies. Put that light underneath it so it's like, you know, it looks spooky. With this light face down, it's more like sunlight. It's more like a natural light. So if you see people holding it down like this, that it gives an odd thing under the eyes. It, it just doesn't look right. But shining it down gives a very good, uh, clean light. And that's what you want to do. You want to angle it downward, okay, the best you can. So we'll take a few shots with the, the reflector here, and we'll see the difference in the two shots. Boom. Flip that hair real hard. Bam. There you go. Good job. That was amazing. <laughs> that was a good job. One more time. Three, two, one. Okay, something I did realize here, with this here, the light is, I got a lot more light on her. 
So this allows me to go up. I went from 1250 to 1600 on my shutter speed. That also allows me to get a little bit more bold on the coloring and it locks in the background a little better. The higher I can go with this, this shutter, because still, even though it's an hour before golden hour, it's still pretty bright. So I'm able to, to lock it in a little better, get the colors. You don't want that color you know, bleeding out of the ground onto her. And the slower the shutter uh, on, a, on a bright day, it will pull some of the colors into her. The faster I can run this shutter, it keeps me the natural colors, the colors that I all want. It makes everything a little bit more bold. There you go, good job. Yeah, these are amazing. These kind of photos like this, you can really play with natural light. You can have her run. Let's do that. Take a few steps back and come forward. Now, what I one solid key, I'm not going to take a picture before she gets into that reflection. Once that she gets into that, where the light hits her from the reflection, that's when I'm going to take the photo. Go ahead. Three, two, one, jump. Turn to me. There you go. Beautiful. So here's a good thing with the reflection off the reflector hitting her it gives it you know the light is pulling in but we're on this water here so the water with the sun on this side is reflecting off and it's actually filling in both sides of her so i'm able to at, at this point use either side if she goes left goes right i have light on both sides so i've got light reflecting from just the natural bounce off the water and then off the reflector i've got coming back the other way so i've got the natural light coming this way and then the reflection coming that way so it just makes it super easy. And now she can run in, run out, and you know, and then with a, um, if you have off camera flash, you've got to wait on that recycle time. Boom, 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 and take a shot. With this here, I can go, you know, and, and go into high speed and just, just every time you hear it, just turn. Just, I can just bam, 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 take as many as I want. I don't have to worry about catching her blinking or anything. I just keep firing. And she can walk and run, and as she gets it, I get the natural of her hair. There you go. And just keep firing away. I can take hundreds and pictures like this and then I don't have to worry about, did I get that one? But let's say in this instance, we don't have my buddy Todd. We also can use a little stand and a little reflector. Obviously, it's not gonna have the punch of a five foot reflector, but you can see, look at it. It already does make a big difference on her. So it may not be able to light her feet up as much, but it definitely is adding a lot of light to her, you know, torso and her arms and then her face, the important parts, right? So we're gonna get in here and try this. So this is if you're by yourself, right? Nobody can help you. Boom, I mean, these are great. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. And just do a twist and turn and pop. There you go, good job. Beautiful, love it, super easy. But we'll go to, we'll go to number three. Let's say that you don't have a stand. You just got the reflector. Let's see what we can do with this. So I can take this reflector. <clears throat> now this does limit you in a little bit. She's gonna have to hold this thing here, right? She's gonna have to bounce it back into herself or into her face, okay? So it's just here, you'll hold it right there. And I'm just gonna cut her, when I, when I take the picture, I'm gonna crop her to where I just see her face and just some of the, the fine details of what I need. So she's holding it like this. So a lot of times I'll have them just hold it out with one and then that gives me a lot more, do I can see a lot more of her. So go ahead if you want, yeah, let go of it and just there you go, boom. Look directly into the reflector. There you go. And it gives a really good catch light into her eyes too. There you go, look right at me, big smile. There you go, it's beautiful. There you go. So just be more playful, more fun, throw your hair a little bit. Take the hat up a little bit. There you go, there you go, that's it. So all we have to do is, you know, get creative with that reflector. That reflector is your light, so you have your sun as your light source, but that reflector fills in the dark side or the short side of the face. So, you know, you can, you can put the sun behind her and it's good and even, but you really do lose the full background. So I like to put it on the side or kind of tilt towards the back of the side and have it come in when I'm shooting natural light and reflect back into the darker side or the short side of the face and make it work. It, um, it's a good, easy way to do it, especially if you're by yourself or if you, you've got a buddy with you 
and you have a bigger one, hey, that's great. Obviously, you're gonna be a lot better off if you can do that and they can tilt it in real well. Uh, it, it works very well. But uh, if you don't, you have a little stand and you have a little reflector, it'll go anywhere you need to go and it works. But if you don't have a stand, let the model hold it. It looks really good. It's, it's a good work. So hopefully this helped you. Uh, if, if we can help you in any way, you know, we're at ChrisForMichaelImages.com or at TikTok at MikeCyrus1, um, Chris Mike Images on, on Instagram. Hit us on any one of these. Like and subscribe. We're here for you. So if you have any more video ideas, you want something you want to learn or something here you want more, you have questions about or want you know, more in depth, hey, hit us up. We're always here for you. So thank you. Mike Cyrus, Chris Marshall, or Christopher Michael Images, thank you.